an improved version of Apple Intelligence that features Image Playground Chat GPT integration, among others, is now available for the Mac with the latest software update. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you and demonstrating some of the newly added Apple Intelligent features for your Mac. Now, one of the first things you should know is that if you are in a region other than the US where Apple Intelligence was first available in English US, it's now been expanded to localized English support for Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, South Africa, and the UK. If you are in any of these listed countries and regions, you can set your device language to English that corresponds to that country and region, and you'll be able to start using Apple Intelligence with these newly added features. Siri and Apple Intelligence has also been improved significantly with this update. You can see when you go into your system settings under Apple Intelligence and Siri, we now have a chat GPT extension slash integration with Siri and if you click on the little arrow right here it mentions that ChatGPT can help you write text create an image answer questions and more and you can find out the terms of use and you have the ability to use ChatGPT without signing in or without even an account which will make you anonymous and while doing that you have limited functionalities of course and if you want to sign into your chat gpt account and be able to access fully paid features if that's something that you have with the open ai account you can also sign in right there and it will tell you whether you have reached your daily limit or not and you can see confirm chat gpt request every time you request or send a request using siri that needs to use chat gpt you'll be able to see a confirmation that will allow you to select yes and no to demonstrate writing tools you can see here if i open up this note and click on the writing tools section right there you can see the icon was updated and at the same time this one as well has been refreshed from the old siri icon to one that shows and is more uniform with Apple's intelligent page. And right here, you can describe a change. For example, if you want to select or describe a change you want to input in your selected or highlighted text, you can describe a change and say, for example, add my name, Benjamin, in the selected text. Or if you want to use the chat GPT integration, you have the ability to compose something from scratch or you can also use the compose feature to create new images and generate new things. For example, create an image of a red car on a rainy day. And then I'll click enter and you can see Apple intelligence is taking effect right here. It's going through, you know, the window that I have selected right there and you can see create a nighttime version of this image. You can see what it's created right here and it's giving me other suggestions that I can do. So not only can you use the compose feature that has been added by means of the Siri and ChatGPT integration to create pictures, you can also use it to write something or brainstorm ideas from scratch and it will be able to create some things like this that you are seeing right here. If you are a person that uses voice memos like this, this is the voice memo section right here and you want to be able to get an improved summary which was not there before and where if macOS was making errors for you then I'll be happy to let you know that that has been improved and right here you can see if I pause this recording and then click done, you can see the summary is now fast you get the summary right there and you notice the preview has been summarized that says voice memo section with improved summary it's more specific and direct to the point which i like to see how siri uses chat gpt i can say something like give me step by step direction and instruction on how to make steak and fries and then if i click enter like this you can see i'll click enter and it says do you want to use ChatGPT to answer that? I can say use the web or use ChatGPT. And then if I click use ChatGPT, you can see working with ChatGPT right there. And then after a few seconds, let's give it some time. Here's a simple step-by-step -step guide to make steak and fries. And these are the ingredients for the steak. And you can see all the way up to a uh, plate and dish when you are serving. So that's the chat GPT integration right there in action. And at the same time, Siri has been improved with conversation awareness. So I can say, or I can access Siri right there and say, tell me the weather in New York right now. I want to talk about it with my friend. If I click enter right there, you can see 
um, it's gonna take a few seconds and you can see right there it says New York this is the weather six degrees it's clear and yeah it's in the night of course which is something that's good in the launch pad right here you can see the old siri icon has been rebranded to this new one that matches with apple intelligence throughout the system os once you update your device successfully one of the first new things that you're going to see is this new image playground application this is a new app that lets you use concept description and people from your photo library to create fun playful images in multiple styles initially for me to get access to to the image playground feature i had to actually be on the waiting list similarly to apple intelligence and for mac it took me about three days to get approval and get the notifications that image playground is now available and on the iphone the image playground access was actually given to me after seven days when you open it up for me i had already created some images these are a few of the samples that i managed to create but if you want to create an image you just click on the little plus icon right there and you can see how the ui looks to demonstrate image playground this is a photo of mine that i'm going to be adding into the image playground software or application right here by choosing it and then you're going to see what it's going to be able to demonstrate or generate and if i add it right there you can see it automatically adds it in the application and you can see the ui animation and it doesn't take long a few seconds and you can see one of the results that it's generated if i want to see other possible results from that same picture you can see what it's generated i can go next as well under this section right here you can choose between illustration style or animation style if i select animation it's gonna take a few more seconds to convert that into an animation type of picture and now if i click on it right there you can see the results that it's created and you can see as it works in the background the other options that it has and once it's done processing i can be able to click the left arrow to go back to see the different results that it's created so apparently this looks like me based on this picture that I added into image playground and if I click on using my mouse and then go to the right you can see other possible results once you've reached the absolute right or the last picture you can see it will continue to create and then if I go right again it's going to create multiple options and go forward and at the same time if i go back to style right here i can choose illustration and then if i use my mouse keyboard and then press the left or right keys i'll be able to toggle between what it has created right here i think animation this one looks okay now if you want to see what prompts or pictures you've added for it to be able to create this result by just clicking on the image that it's generated you can see it zooms out and shows you what image was added but if you want to create something else or add things to the results that it's created you can say make superhero for example and then if i click enter it's going to take this picture that i put in it and then it's going to try and make it a superhero and it's going to take a few seconds of course to generate the image you can see what it's generated right here if i go to the next it didn't do like a great job with making a superhero you can also come to the suggestion and say hey add a mountain in the background and you can make winter holiday as well and you can see it's going to continuously generate and it doesn't end there these are just some of the suggestions and you can see what it's created i can go to the next tab and say if you want to create a different theme for example make fireworks make love sci-fi party and so on or sunset you can see what it's gonna do now sunset and winter don't really go together but you can see what it's created it's winter and snow in the background but you can see the sunset is right there you can also choose different costumes for example if you want superhero which i tried to add by you adding a phrase but it didn't do a good job but let's see what it generated it actually did a better job than adding the text which is something that's cool if you want to add race car or other different costumes you can select those and then if you go here you can choose accessories sunglasses let's see all these are prompts that i've added and yeah let's give it a few seconds and you can see what it's created looks funny but i think the sunglasses actually make it worse and 
you can see what we've created right here. Now, if I click on it and then remove the picture that I've generated right there, you can see it says continue by choosing an inspiration for the person in your image and then it says choose a person or if you want you can generate a prompt just using words only make a picture of a green car on a rainy day and then if i click enter right here i can remove all these other additions that i had made and you'll be able to see it generate a picture of a green car on a rainy day and boom there are the results that we have just using uh, text only you see it's text that we've added and you can see here the different options that it's created it actually looks pretty good and if you want to change it from animation to illustration it, uh, it actually looks good when you use it to generate like images of cars and stuff like this which is something that i like now if you want to save your results you can click here where it says done and you to show you like a full image like this and here if you want to save or delete your results you can do that if you want to share you can also share your results with different people you can airdrop or email and if you want to go back and edit you can click edit in it or open the same window and if you click on the three dots you have the ability to copy duplicate add captions or report a concern image playground is still in beta as you can see right here so some results might not be as you want them to be generated as or you might have to try multiple times because of this but other than that this is pretty good the image playground and creation is actually implemented in other third party and apple default applications such as the freeform app for example so you can see if you want to create image directly or generate images using image playground in the free form you have a new plus screen that's going to tell you that create fun original images based on description or selected text and images and also they've added and improved the free form app with the ability to create scenes send a copy and enhanced editing and also in the apple messages application you can go to a message and then go to the plus icon and say image playground right there and it will essentially open up your recently created images you can see these are a few that we have created using image playground the application but if i want to create one right from the messages app i can click on the plus icon right there and it opens image playground window within messages and i can quickly generate an image and be able to send it to myself or to a person that i'm texting in within the messages app it's also important to keep in mind that images are synchronized in your image playground library across all your devices with uh, iCloud and so if I create something on this Mac when I move over to my Mac mini or my other Mac devices that have the same iCloud I'll be able to have access to the same images that's just a glimpse of what Apple intelligence has to offer there are a few more things we are waiting for for the Mac such as Gen Emoji among others that are still to come so definitely do hit like and subscribe and stay tuned on this channel so that you'll be up to date when apple releases more new apple intelligence features for the mac that i will definitely cover here on the channel